Hey everyone, Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge. Today we're going to talk about white lights on your rifle, where to put them, why they're important. Let's go ahead and get started, but before we get into the substance of the video, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, that way you don't miss any videos, and also hit those alert buttons so that you're first to know. Folks, we do a lot of night shooting out here uh, throughout the year, either in the spring or the fall or the winter, and we do some low light with pistol and rifle. When it comes to rifle, the white light's an important ingredient to your success plan because if you don't have a white light on your rifle, you're not going to be able to see what or who you're shooting. We need to identify behavior before we shoot it. If you're going to do this responsibly, then you need to be able to positively identify your target as well as the behavior, whether it's deadly force authorized or not. Um, white light's crucial for that. All of my rifles have a white light on them and they're in the exact same spot uh, whether it's my rifle that I use for training or practice or whether it's my home defense rifle the light is in the same spot as you're gonna see from a couple examples here I see a lot of students come to class and their white lights in different areas some may have it way forward on the rifle some have it back somewhere in between a lot of times but the key to doing this is that you've got to make sure that your hand placement is consistent whether you're in the standing position all right if we go kneeling your hand placement position needs to stay the same. Go prone, hand position needs to stay the same. So what you need to do is go out and practice without your white light on the rifle, figure out where your hands go in those consistent positions, and after you've got those three positions, standing, kneeling, and prone with your hand placement in the same spot, then you can add your white light. It does not matter if this light is back behind the front side. It does not matter at all. It doesn't obscure the target. It doesn't matter. You've got white light illumination on the threat and your sight. It doesn't matter whether your white light is in front of your front side or behind it. It really does not matter. You're still going to be able to illuminate the threat. You're still going to be able to see your front sight uh, nicely in the dark. It doesn't matter whether your white light is around your flash suppressor, your fla flash hider or not. It doesn't matter one bit at all. As far as clouding on the lens, uh, this rifle's probably got about 10,000 rounds through it with this light exactly the way that it is. I've never polished or cleaned my flashlight lens whatsoever because guess what? It's behind there and when this shoots all of the gas and the unburnt powder goes in a completely different direction. Uh, Non-issue uh, where that comes from. A lot of guys will worry about what about the shadow of the barrel. When I shine it up I notice that there's a shadow of the barrel on the wall. Do a low light module. Come on out here, take class, shoot some low light and see if that's a factor. Here's a clue. It's not. Um, people all across the board shoot better at night for some reason and I think it's because they see their sights. So I'm going to show you a couple examples here on my rifle, on a couple rifles that I have and show you where the white light is. Alright guys, here's an example of, of one of my rifles here. I use this one a lot. Uh, I shoot this one in class for demos and also use it for training and practice. What you're going to notice here is that I've got my grips right here because that's where my hands are when I shoot. When I'm standing, it stays like this. When I go kneeling, it stays like this. When I go prone, it stays like this. And I know from my reference points right here that to get to my white light, all I have to do is move my thumb over like this and I've got access to that button. Um, I really enjoy this kind of system because it allows me to have a good sight picture in the dark. If you'll notice, my light is right here. It's in front of the front sight post, but even if it wasn't, even if it was back here, it's not that big of a deal. Um, if you even had it farther back, if you if you don't reach out that far on the rifle, we've all got different builds. But if you if you are back here somewhere, at least you want to be able to access this button. What matters more than the position of the light is where your support hand uh, goes to the rifle. Because if you keep moving your hand up here, back here, on the magwell, wherever it is, it's not consistent. So we want that consistent support hand placement if you're going to shoot well. So that's just one example uh, right here with this. This rifle my training and practice gun. Well here's another example guys. There's another example of my uh, one of my home defense guns or one of the guns that I really uh, don't shoot a lot. I have shot this gun a lot but it's proven its reliability and accuracy to me so now it's in my uh, go-to category here. You've seen this in a lot of my videos. Uh, what you see up here same kind of thing. I've got my reference point where I keep my support hand right here. I've also got my normal support hand there. Thumb goes in the same spot as it does on the other rifle. So guess what? When I have to access that light,
light, it's in the same spot. It's in the exact same location, even though it's a different type of light than the other one that you saw. This is a Scout, the other one was a G2X, but notice the hand placement is exactly the same. The thumb is exactly the same. I like it here. The light is well forward of the front side post, but even if it wasn't, even if it was back here, because maybe people like to hold farther back, some people like the mag hold, some people like up here, it doesn't matter, I would still be able to access that consistently. As I said, guys, my hand is placed on here when I'm doing my standing, when I'm doing my kneeling, and when I'm doing prone. I don't change my hand position because you need to go out and shoot this. Before you put a white light on your gun, before you do that, what you need to do is go out and shoot the rifle Know where your support hand is in those positions and then put reference points on that rifle, whatever type that is. If you've got a quad rail, you can use these little grip covers. If you've got key mod, you can put those little plastic markers on there, those uh, gritty ones. If you're running a rounded hand guard, you can put a piece of tape or you can put a piece of moleskin, something like that, to consistently know where your hand is. You need consistent hand placement. And what you're going to find is that you won't be hunting for this button in the dark. Folks, if you found the information in the video helpful, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to get some training on your rifle, and especially in that low light environment, come on out to Valor Ridge and we can help you with that. This is Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge reminding you, the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. We'll see you on the ridge.